Hey guys, Tech Tech Man TV here with a hands-on demo of Firefox 4.0 Beta 1. And like I said, this is a beta to Firefox 4.0, so the browser is not too stable at the moment. I really would not recommend using this as your main browser, at least at the moment, since of course this is the first beta. So for example, the Flash content has been crashing a lot on me and it's really not that satisfying to use, for example, on YouTube. So you're probably wondering why am I actually on the Firefox website right now for this demo. And the reason for this is because I'm on a Mac and there's two features that are not supported on Macs that I really wanted to highlight um, in this demo. So they're on the website, so let me just show you them real quick. So the first one is that there's actually now a different tab location. As you can see, the tabs right here are in the old location. They're below the URL bar. And on Firefox 4.0 Beta 1, at least on computers running Windows, the tabs are now on the top, as you can see in this picture right there. So really, if you don't like that, you're not actually locked into having the tabs on the top of the URL bar. If you actually see this option right here, this is now a new option. It's going to be on the top of Firefox 4.0. It's a f new Firefox option, and it's just going to bring you a bunch of different options if you actually click on it. So right now, as you can tell here, this little demo has the option actually clicked. And as you can see, there's new window, save pages, send link, print, find in this page, history, and customize. So as you can vaguely see down here, that's a little customized option. And if you actually click on this customized option, there's going to be a bunch of different options to customize your browser. But one of the new customizable options is to actually switch your tab location back to the bottom as it is on my computer right there. Let me just scroll down here since I'm on the website and just highlight some other new features in Firefox 4.0 Beta 1. First off, new add-on manager. This is pretty cool because if you're actually downloading a add-on to Firefox, with this new manager, you're not actually going to have to completely restart the browser like you have to in different browsers. So you can just download the add-ons straight from the browser without having to restart it. Next, there's actually now WebM format built into Firefox 4. And finally, protecting your privacy. Obviously, there's just going to be minor privacy updates. Now, down here under the hood, the main new feature here is the HTML5 support. There's just better HTML5 support in Firefox, and basically it's now complete HTML5 support. One more thing, crash protection. This isn't actually new to Firefox 4.0, uh, but it's new, fairly new to Firefox 3.6.6, which is the last update to Firefox. So basically, if you're using Adobe Flash, Apple QuickTime, or Microsoft Silverlight, and you actually get a crash in one of those plugins, your browser won't actually completely crash just that plugin, which is nice. That's the crash protection. You can actually choose to restart this plugin or you can just continue on with your browsing on the rest of the internet. So anyways, let's just go on to the actual demo. And right off the bat, you see this is what Firefox 4.0 Beta 1 looks like on the Mac. It really does not look too different. On Windows computers, uh, you're going to actually have some new Windows Aero support. It so something cool, which is new to Firefox 4.0, is actually switching tabs. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this too much, but I'm sure other people will like it. So pretend you have a couple different tabs open. Maybe you have like 10 or 15 tabs, and really the text uh, where everything is, like it gets really small. Maybe you don't know exactly what the different tab is. Cool new feature is that you can actually search in the URL bar for different tabs. So as you can tell, I have that Firefox 4 tab open. And as you can see down here, it switched to tab. So it just switched right to the tab. I didn't have to look through 20 different tabs with really small font, clicking individual ones just to see if I'm on the right page. I could just type right in the URL bar, Firefox 4, and there was an option to switch to that tab. It doesn't completely reload the page, which is nice. So you just switch to the tab. Besides that, of course, Firefox 4.0 is going to be a lot faster than Firefox 3.6.6. Because, of course, with any new major update like this, the browser's obviously going to get a little bit faster. Um, basically, when this full browser is out, I'll probably have a comparison to the Firefox 3.6.6, a speed test. 
But right now, I don't think it's going to be a great comparison when it's actually in beta, so yeah. But, you know, that's basically Firefox 4.0 Beta 1. That's my hands-on demo right there. Thanks a lot for watching.